Change your own golf grips. Regripping yourself is easy, and relatively inexpensive. In order to get the most bang for your buck, you will need to know the size of the grip that is best for you. To determine the proper size for your grip, read how to determine correct grip size. Determine the current size of your grips. Using a vernier caliper, or a micrometer, measure the size of the grip at a point two inches below the grip end. Remove the old grips from each club. Using a utility knife, carefully cut through each grip from the head end through the cap. If your clubs have graphite shafts, extra caution needs to be taken not to cut into the shafts. I use a hook blade to make this job easier and safer. Pull grip off each club. Remove the tape and residue left behind. Clean with solvent or naphtha. Check one of the shaft's butt diameters. The overwhelming majority of shafts will be one of two sizes, 0 0.580 or 0 0.600. Grips also have size designations on them, L56 and L58 for ladies, and M58 and M60 for men's. These indicate the grip core size. Match grip size and shaft butt size for sizing. Knowing these will allow you to calculate the proper grip size. Place shaft into a shaft clamp and secure snugly into a vise. Add required number of masking tape layers to achieve the desired size. If no wraps are needed to achieve correct size, skip to step 7. Add two-sided grip tape to butt end of the shaft. Be sure to leave at least one half an inch from the end of the grip. Leave about one half inch of tape above the shaft butt, and tuck it onto the club end. Plug the grip's vent hole in the end of the grip. I use my finger, but you can use a T. Fill the grip with grip solvent. Pour the solvent out over the grip tape. Use a pen, I use a small paint roller tray, to catch the solvent to be reused. Slide the end of the grip over the butt shaft. Push until the grip cap makes contact with the shaft butt. Put the club in the playing position to align the grip repeat steps 5 to 12 until all grips are replaced. If you are trying to build to standard size, you need to know the butt diameter of your shaft, then match the grip number with the butt diameter. Other combinations can be achieved by using the following, four shafts with a butt diameter of 0 .580 using a M58 shaft, minus 1 64th, stretch the grip 3 fourths inch down the shaft. Standard, no build-up tape, plus 164th, 
add two layers of build up tape, plus one thirty second, add four layers, plus one sixteenth, add nine layers. If you have a .580 shaft and M60 grips, add zero layers for minus one sixty fourth, standard, add two layers of build up tape, four layers for plus one sixty fourth, seven layers for plus one thirty second, and eleven layers for plus one sixteenth. One sixty fourth, stretch the grip three fourths inch down the shaft, standard, no build up tape, plus one sixty fourth, add two layers of build up tape, plus one thirty second, add four layers, plus one sixteenth, add nine layers. If you have a point six zero zero shaft and M58 grips, stretch the grip three fourths for standard, and zero layers for plus one sixty fourth, seven layers for plus one sixteenth. Required tools, Shaft clamp vernier caliper utility knife paint roller pen.